Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. Got a lot of requests for the IGCSE prediction 0580 paper 4 and this is the exam on Thursday the 20th of October. So just like my paper 2 video I'm going to go through my paper 4 predictions here and start with the trending sections. So I'm trying to look for patterns here from the last couple of years and seeing which questions are becoming a bit more popular than others. And one thing to notice here is these table of values sketching graphs which I'll talk about later in the video that's certainly gone upwards from six to nine trig equations they're trying to sneak into paper four as well interior angles although overall only four appearances made a really big appearance on the summer exams in 2022 which last year it was then paper two so interesting they try to put these questions into both papers and then just something I noticed as I was doing the research for this is that vectors have dropped from six to four okay that might be a case of appearing more on paper two. So really be aware of the trending section here because this allows me to actually see, okay, which topics are appearing most for you. Right, we're going to start with our often category and transformations should be no surprise to you. This is normally a standalone question and one of the easier topics on the course to get lots of marks. So make sure you know how to do transformations really, really well. Okay, this is a typical question. A lot of these questions are coming from the 2022 papers that have just been released. As you can see, there shouldn't be any surprise here. You're doing a reflection in a line and translation by a vector. Make sure you can do that at home. Next topic is circle theorems. Now, this is equally distributed on papers two and four. As I mentioned in my previous video, if you haven't checked out that video, then please do check out the video above. And this can also be integrated into areas of 2D shape questions as well. So just be aware of this. However, this question in front of you from 2022 is a very common kind of question. So I'm trying to give you as much exposure to those questions too. If you want to revise circle theorems, then do check out the video above as well, where I spend 60 minutes going through as many IGCSE questions as I can on this important topic. Quadratics, again, it's quite a loose category here. And these can arise from a speed distance time question, an area question, or as you see in front of you, a coordinate geometry graph question as well, where you have two equations, you're looking for the intersection points, and essentially this then turns into solving a quadratic. So first of all, make sure you're really good at solving quadratics and then be able to apply that to lots of different areas. Sketching graphs, table of values, I did promise that this would turn up. This is a standard paper four question that they have liked to put in. And you have to plot a graph of some kind and then use that to solve a variety of different equations linked to that graph. If you're not really sure what I'm talking about with this kind of question, then check out the video above. I spend about 40, 50 minutes going through exactly this kind of question. So you can see this is a very typical question, filling in that table of values and then having to plot it and then use it in some way. On to functions. Now, again, this doesn't appear as much as you can see, eight in 14 papers. But when it does, it's a big, big question. And you can see this is the start of question 12. This generally is towards the end of the paper. So just be aware of that. And again, if you need practice on this topic, yep, you know what I'm gonna say here, you can click on the video above too. Percentage calculations, again, a big staple of paper two and paper four. Uh, this can vary in skill from basic work out a percentage to work out a percentage increase and decrease. And I saw this very interesting paper from May, June 2022. As you can see, they again done a slight twist for this big five mark question. So I put this in front of you. Again, I'm not going to go through it in this video, but just be aware they are trying to change these questions slightly to test your knowledge. And on to the almost certain category, and of course statistics is going to be in there, of course. And this usually involves cumulative frequency curve and doing some interpretation. Now this could go into histograms as well, box plots too. Make sure you can work out the estimate of a mean and make sure you can do that manually. The question I've picked out here from 2022 is exactly that for four marks. So you really do need to know that. Now this topic goes very nicely into my next often topic actually, which is probability. 
because the next part of that particular question, you just saw it in front of you, was actually a probability question. So although probability itself comes up 10 and 14 papers, and in fact, with then diagrams, it comes up 5 and 14, it can be integrated into other topics. Statistics generally is one of those topics where those probability questions can appear. So even though this comes under the often umbrella here, I would put this with the almost certain topics because it's really, really important that you know how to do these kind of questions. Differentiation, again, big topic, particularly for the higher grades. So if you're aiming for an A or an A star, this is a way to differentiate yourself, again, to use that word, to really distinguish yourself from B grade candidates. So you can show you can do A grade and A star content. Now, this comes from the 2022 paper here, where they give you a cubic in this case, where you have to find the X values of the turning points. And as you can see at the bottom there, a whopping seven marks for that. Now, I've done a lot of work on differentiation on the channel. There is a video above, which really goes through these really tough differentiation questions on the IGCSE course. Recommend you check that out. 2D, 3D volume and surface area questions, again, a good guarantee to be on the paper, a whopping 16 in 14 papers, it should say 14 papers, can, can be combined with similarity as well. I saw this question on the 2022 paper. As you can see, they're usually fairly standard, but just make sure you can work out a variety of 2D, 3D volumes and areas. Again, mensuration is an important topic, and I'll put a video above to check out too. On to equation solving, um, just like last year, this could appear in a number of forms. Quadratics, which I've actually put off into a, se a separate topic. Uh, simultaneous equations and a set of equation solving to complete, so an A, B, C, D kind of question. It came up, as you can see here, I've picked out one of those questions, given for a whopping five marks. So make sure you are getting those marks because equation solving, whether it's paper two, whether it's paper four, is going to appear make sure you can do it. And on to my very last topic to mention here, which is sine, cosine rule and bearings. And in fact, bearings is very the last video I've literally just done on the channel. Again, I'll put a link above so you can check it out. It's always been very, very popular, but particularly on the 2022 papers, it has appeared quite a lot. So just to show you a very quick question here. So question seven. Again, they can be on the straightforward side here, or they can be integrated into a bigger question, maybe even a little bit of 3D work as well. So make sure you're really up to speed with bearings, very important. And my little bonus part at the end of the video, if you've watched all the way through, I've seen this on the 2022 paper, and this doesn't really come up much on Cambridge. This show that an expression is a multiple of four for all integer values or whole values of N. Now at Excel, so the Pearson's IGCSE, usually have a lot of these kind of questions, but since this has come up on Cambridge this, this year, I thought I'd go through it with you. So the way we do this, is we're going to expand the double bracket. Remember, 2m minus 5 squared is the same as multiplying by itself. So we're going to multiply out the bracket using the double hook, as I like to call it. Foil, there's lots of names for this. So 2n times 2n is 4n squared. 2n times minus 5 is minus 10n. Minus 5 times 2n is minus 10n. And minus 5 times minus 5, always be careful here, is plus 20 five don't forget the minus 13 afterwards and what we're going to do here is collect like terms so we're going to collect these together and then these together so we get 4n squared minus 10n minus 10n is minus 20n and then plus 25 minus 13 is equal to plus 12 now the way we're going to show this is a multiple of four is we're actually going to factorize by four so notice four goes into each of these terms. So what do I do to four to get to four n squared? n squared. What do I do to four to get to minus 20 n? Minus five n. What do I do to four to get to plus 12? Plus three. And so because we basically got four times something, again, n is just an integer, so that's gonna give me an integer value. Therefore, I have shown to the examiner that this is, will always be a multiple of four where n is an integer, which this is the correct notation to use. n is in the 
set of integer values. So if you saw this question going through the 2022 papers, I thought I'd go through this with you as well to make sure you're really up to speed. And if you really need to get up to speed on all things 0580, then the topic I'd really recommend you check out is the video in front of you where I go through all the trigonometry questions I can find. And that will really stand you in good stead for a lot of questions on the paper four.